Hey guys, so uh, so this is my second Ice Strike Worm task that I've had since restarting Slayer, and uh, and as you can probably see from my inventory, I have been spending quite a lot. So uh, so in anticipation of slaying, or rather, you know, as soon as I got my completionist cape, I started thinking, right, so I've got all this money. What am I going to spend it on? I want to I want to spend it on Slayer, make sure that I have uh, everything that I need, so I don't have to go to the GE that often. So I bought a ton of ca cannonballs. They're still buying the GE. I bought lots of runes. So I think the last time you saw me do this, that was actually the maximum amount of runes I had, which was like 1,200 death runes, 1,500 um, blood runes, something like that. But yeah, I've been buying all the resources that I need to keep me going for a long time. Um, what else? So there were there were twenty Pharaoh staffs. Oh, I've done this wrong. So let's see. What am I actually doing here? There we go. And we're set. Okay. So uh, so yeah, cannonballs, runes, Pharaoh scepters. Um, I think that's basically it so far. I don't know if I've identified anything else I need just yet. Um, I probably have to stock up on my uh, my prayer potions and restores at some point as well. Um, and yeah. So uh, so I, I I'm. I'm in the swing of things now in terms of slay it, though I'm still making silly mistakes like that. Um, and let's see, so how many times will the Ice Strike Worm use his special attack on me and I'll get hit? Um, I'm, I'm not one of those people that will start looking for areas where I won't be, you know, I won't be subject to that special attack. So, for example, I could be staying against the wall, but why bother? Um, if it happens, it happens and I can probably dodge it. Um, and then also in my in this Ganodermix now, so this is the this is the newest thing that is that has happened uh, since I I last slayed. At least it makes the biggest difference so far, at least that I know of. Um, and that is obviously that it it is absorbing quite a lot of this uh, the mage attack that the strike worm usually does. So now I'm even less inclined to use the magic prayer. I mean I I wouldn't have used it before, but now I'm even less inclined to do so because uh, because I should just get hit a lot less often. And not only the enhanced Excalibur will be helpful, but also um, the sharks that they drop. And in terms of prayer, obviously I can use Soul Split to get that health back. And in fact, I, I believe that I'll be Soul Splitting so seldomly that I've actually only bought one item in that way, and that is my Falador Shield. So that has its two charges for the day, and that should be more than enough uh, prayer that I need. In fact, I don't even anticipate using it at all. I think I can probably just do with the uh with the 990 prayer that I start with and that is because um let's see that's because the soul split yeah soul split it probably takes about probably takes about two hits usually as long as those hits are good and in fact I haven't even used my familiar just yet but once my familiar has activated its special attack and everything I should be hitting in the thousand sometimes and that is always nice to see um the highest hit I've seen myself do is 1176 and uh and yeah the only thing that i think i'm not wearing right now that uh that would boost my my magic accuracy would be um would be virtuous i think that's pretty much it anyway um oh and then also uh seer's ring i'm not wearing a seer's ring and that is because firstly i'm using ring of wealth and secondly because it's not imbued just yet i will go and imbue it at some point and then maybe i'll be more inclined to take it over a ring of wealth um but yeah i mean um I'm using Ring of Wealth for some reason. I think that's the way to go. But uh, but maybe yeah, when I get imbued Sears Ring, I'll start thinking about it. So uh, so hopefully I'll get something decent this time. Uh, last time, if I did show you footage of myself doing Ice Strike Worms last time, you'll see that I I did get a Dragon Med, and uh, and that was the first time I've seen a Dragon Med, both on the floor in the inventory. Um, and yeah, so that looks a whole lot different than it used to. It looks a whole lot nicer than it used to. But yeah, Dragon Meds, even though they you know we consider them pretty rare, they're they're definitely not rare at Ice Strike Worms, are they? Um, and also something that I should add is that I have yet to go to Ganodermic Place at all whatsoever. Um, so I'm waiting for a task for one of those. And when I do get a task, then it'll be my first experience of killing them. Uh, the other thing is um, Jadinkos, um, mutated Jadinkos. I've been there. I have killed them, but I was killing them just normally. I wasn't killing them as a Slayer task. So I'm looking forward to get um, to go in there as well because I haven't been there in a long time. And uh, I don't know how much of Iron Whips are all these Ganodermic flakes or whatever they're called but i don't really know anything about ganodermic drops whatsoever so i don't know how much money i'm going to make from those kind of tasks but i'm looking forward to all of that so uh, so yeah if i get a drop if i get a spin if i get an effigy i'll bring it back i don't know if spins are worth showing um I have had three spins from uh, from drops, but those were at armored zombies. I like to now, you know how I used to go to, uh, I used to fish and woodcut when I wanted to do AFK activities. 
uh, so I could do something else, obviously. Um, I'm now starting to move towards armored zombies because that is that is pretty AFKable as well. In fact, it's more AFKable than fishing and wood cutting because with those two, you constantly have to move spots. Less so with rock tails because the rock tail spots don't change that often. But uh, but then you even have the bank as well. And with armored zombies, you can stay there probably ten hours on one inventory of potions. Um, and also, let me see, so also it's good experience, I'm not going to be getting more experience from any other AFK activity, there I can probably get 120k um, experience in the uh, in the relevant skill that I'm training, so attack, strength or defense, and then there's also extras from Herb Lore because Herbicide is active, um, there's extra from the bones that I get because again, Bone Crusher is active, um, and then there's also obviously hit points as well, so, um, so yeah, there's a lot of experience to be gained there, and that's where I got the three spins that I got and also um, got a single effigy there also just before I now definitely move on to the next thing so as in move on and start concentrating on actually doing this um, what was it that I wanted to mention oh yeah so I don't know where to put all my experience into now seeing as I'm training Slayer you would think that I'd put it in Slayer oh crap I'm gonna die so what do I have to do I need to put soul split on before I die oh what a nice soul split did I get it I don't even know if I even got it. It should have healed me for 200, so I guess I, I didn't, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so so what I'm doing is I'm putting all my lamps and everything, all the lamps that actually give you um, experience based on your level, I'm putting those all in Dungeoneering, because that's where I'm getting the most experience. That is an ice cream, uh, an ice cream van going past my window, which is wide open. Just give you a few seconds. It'll probably stop right outside my door. It has. It has stopped outside my door. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'll continue what I'm saying another time. But this malfunctioning ice cream van has stopped right outside my window of all places. So I will see you in a bit. Hey, guys. So here I am at Mobilizing Armies now. Now, I think this shouldn't come as a complete surprise because I think I mentioned it in one of my videos that I was uh, that I was going to go and get my Sears ring imbued and possibly also Archer's ring imbued. Well, um... Right now, I'm I'm close to getting my uh, my Sears ring imbued right now, and um, and it is the priority because uh, now I I've, I've had some time to think about it. I still don't know if I want Onyx imbued at all, because uh, I'm quite happy with Berserker imbued and also Ferocious Ring for other situations. Um, and yeah, in terms of uh, in terms of the Archer ring, I just don't see myself using it that often. I mean. If I was to have a good long think about it, well, actually, if I was just to have a short think about it, which is right this minute, um, the only thing that comes to mind is um, is next, maybe, and, well, no, definitely next, and also, um, what's the other place? An armadillo. Yeah, those are the only two places that come into mind. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a better ring to be wearing at Nex, like maybe the Ring of Vigor or something like that. But uh, but yeah, I haven't been to Nex in quite a long time, so I can't think of an item that would be better than Archer's ring. But anyway, both of those things are not really things that I'm doing right now. And if Slayer is the priority, I don't really see myself using range for many if any slayer tasks at all so uh, so yeah seer's ring definitely gets priority because i can think of lots of things i can think of ganodermic creatures i can think of ice strike worms um every now and again i like to do uh necro tasks using blood barrage bow though i might have to cut that down a bit i didn't realize i was spending so much on uh on that activity i mean i think it it costs four million to do 1k cast of blood bar blood barrage so um so it's very expensive i might have to rethink that and also even ganodermic creatures i still haven't done I've, I've done one task it was like griffler pline or something like that so not the best creature it wasn't a ganodermic creature at all uh but whatever it was i was i was blood blitzing them by accident i meant to go there with fire surge but i ended up blood blitzing them because that's the only spell i could cast with the runes that i had on the spell book and i didn't want to go back and change them so um so yeah i used blood blitz and and it occurred to me how expensive it was and i had heard that uh that using the polypore whatever it's called that stuff that gives you 3k of its own type of spell um i thought that sounds a lot more reasonable and it's certainly a lot cheaper per cost so i'm i'm going to give that a good go but yeah that was all irrelevant information all you had to know is that there are far more no, there are far more mage tasks than there are 
ranging tasks, at least ones that I would consider anyway. So, um, so yeah, definitely a good reason to get the Sears ring, even though it makes almost no difference whatsoever. Still wanted it. Um, and yeah, so, so that's why I'm here right now. Um, I've won every single game that I've played. As usual, everyone is suiciding. Um, I've only come across one person with heavy unit, and they were a dwarven heavy unit army. So it was quite easy just to, to dispatch of them because I had a mixed team. I'm using a mixed team for this only because I know it is it is the best way to do it if you want to win 100% of the time. The only reason I had a, just a 100% Dwarven army uh, when I was getting the 300 ranks was because I was either going to fight uh, if I felt that I could win. If I had like the, if I felt there was a 90% chance that I was going to win, that's when that I then went ahead and used the Dwarven army to to facilitate that victory. Um, if I didn't feel I was going to win, then I was happy to just suicide and let that victory go and let that game slide. But uh, but yeah, in this circumstance, I wanted to win every single game. I didn't care how long it was going to take me to win a battle. I was still going to go into full battle mode if that's what it took to win the game because I wanted to get the full modifier that I could get. Um, by winning the game, the 140% modifier that I can get at my current rank. Um, you only get 150% modifier if you've got 400 rank plus, I believe. So, um, so yeah, I was going for outright victory, so I, I took a nice split even team of heavy infantry, and uh, and I, I destroyed the Dwarven army quite quite easily, mainly because he made a huge mistake. He, he started making his catapults, he got his guys to get rocks as well, and he did that for like three or four minutes. He continually got his guys to get rocks. Um, but when he suddenly stopped for, for just, you know, a second, all t all ten of his units were on the same spot. I used my special attacks, you know, reducing reducing his army to half their HP. And I just I just cleaned him up after that. And, uh, and yeah, it was a nice easy victory. All the other uh, games have been against light infantry, so it hasn't been a problem defeating them at all. So, uh, so all in all, it's been nice and easy, and um, and yeah, um, I think I was getting like it was between twenty four to twenty eight k reward points, whatever they're called. Um, yeah, I was getting twenty four to twenty eight k per game, depending on how long the game lasted. So the the game against the dwarven guys, that in fact I think that was actually thirty two k, but I don't didn't mention that in the range because that was an anomaly. But yeah, roughly you're looking at 24 to 28k, but that one game was 32, 33k, something like that. Um, and yeah, so so basically it should only take you eight games if you want to do it yourself. Eight games from 300 rank to uh, to get however many loyalty points or reward points, or whatever they're called, for the uh, for, to imbue a Sears ring or an Archer ring. Um, and that's obviously when you're you're, you're gambling the 17,500 points that uh, that you can maximum at uh, at 300 rank. Again, that increases to probably 20k when you're 400 rank, and alternatively, it could be less if you're a lower rank. Um, yeah. So, in fact, if I've learned anything, because I didn't know half of that information, if I'd learned anything from that and had any advice to give to lower ranked people that want to get imbued rings eventually, that is to find out what kind of bracket you're in, what kind of rank bracket you're in for for gambling and for the rewards, etc., and for the reward modifier. And obviously, then only really bet seriously on games that you're intending to win but only do that once you're at a higher rank and you can get 130 percent modifier which is what you would be getting before you reach 300 rank at very best um i don't think i've anything else to mention i got my ring that's all i needed to say really this could have been a nice 10 second clip me just saying i got my ring the end but i, I decided to drag it out as a as i'm pretty skilled at doing now I'm a professional vlogger. I can make I can make a clip that should last ten seconds. I can make it last an entire year. I could keep talking forever about the Sears ring and mobilizing army, but I will save you. I will save you from that. Um, I don't know if there will be any more to this video. It has been uh, quite short. For, well, no, it hasn't been short. It's been two clips long, but so in that kind of regards, it, it's short. But um, as a video, I'm pretty sure it's knocking on the door of. I don't know, 12 to 14 minutes, something like that. I will see you in another video, guys. So thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, and I'll see you in the next one.